with spring pushing up flowers and nature busy birthing cute little creatures. Some movie lovers will be in the mood for a flick with a little romance and renewal. Cue the non-Avengers counter-programmed new release that also has the word age in it, The Age of Adeline, coming complete with gorgeous model-like stars Blake Lively of The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and Mikhail Hussman of Game of Thrones. And big name co-stars Ellen Burstyn, Harrison Ford, and Kathy Baker. Adeline Bowman is 29. She has been 29 for over 80 years. A freak occurrence made her that way, and she's been running ever since. A chance encounter with charming, quirky philanthropist Ellis Jones, Hussman, makes her want to slow down and smell the roses and the testosterone. Her daughter, Fleming Burston, looks more like her grandmother, and people she once knew have the wrinkles she wishes were on her own face. Silly girl. One of them is William Jones, Harrison Ford, who is coincidentally the father of her new paramour. What's an ageless beauty to do? Run again, or will she stop running and allow herself to fall in love? The audience is certainly offered plenty of beautiful bone structure, featured in languid close-ups of the two leads, along with jewel-like, memorable moments of acting prowess from the older actors. Harrison Ford shows an aching vulnerability in the confused William Jones and lends weight to scenes that rise the stock of the film as a whole. In flashbacks, we're treated to the delightful Canadian actor Anthony Ingruber, who captures Ford's inf infamous one-sided grin, as well as several others of his physical quirks. As his wife Kathy Jones, Kathy Baker isn't seen much, but her natural style makes her instantly likable and believable. Perennially underappreciated actress Ellen Burstyn, as Adeline's daughter, lights up every scene she's in, making the audience believe that they do have the level of intimacy only a mother and daughter would share. Lively and Hussman are both poised to break out as A-list leading actors, and they don't misstep here, but unnecessary scenes, as well as those missing, that could have been used to connect us more with the couple and their yearning for each other are problems they can't overcome. Pretty people together really only go so far, and better dialogue between them would have added a much stronger romantic attachment for the audience. The fault making the film less than the sort that makes long-term fans and cult followers, as time-bending films often do, is the script. It faces us with such ridiculous implausibility. There are several times it unwittingly enters into spoof territory, notably in the explanation for her frozen age. Their narration, which is meant to be straightforward, immediately brings to memory not only Rod Serling, but every spoof narration in recent film history. It literally stops the movie in its tracks, which is unfortunate given the charm and sparkle one might get from the rest of the romance therein. And it's really beautiful to look at. The costuming and the production design are lovely. Overlook all of that ridiculousness though, and audiences might have a nice time in the dark, but girls, and let's be honest, it's gals who are dragging their romantic interests to this with the tease that they'll see a gorgeous blonde, a Game of Thrones alum, and Indiana Jones. Be prepared for such a preposterous explanation for the root of the story, it may ruin the rest of what is a reasonably good film. Perhaps a night at home watching Casablanca or another more successful time travel romance like Midnight in Paris or Kate and Leopold, which stars none other than Wolverine himself, Hugh Jackman, might be time better spent with your film-loving loved one. Three out of five stars because they're very pretty, the stars in the movie, and it's the movie itself is really pretty to look at. It's quite silly though. For more reviews and interviews, please do subscribe to our Cinema Siren YouTube channel and if you watch The Age of Adeline, let us know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, as always, and you can now go find your new favorite film. Thanks a lot.